We're going to be given a graph of a polynomial function, and we're supposed to come up with the equation for this polynomial function, given that we see all of its roots and a y-intercept. So our job is to write, one in, write an equation, a function in any form. And so I'm going to default to, to factored form, because factored form is the most uh, beneficial for us when we see the x-intercepts. And we can tell, in this case, that we have a cubic function. See how it is We've got one turn, two turn. So the polynomial of least degree has to be three because it's two turns plus one. We also see that the end behavior is going down from left to right. If I connect those arrows, I see it looks like a negative slope line. Negative slope means that I have a negative A value, negative leading coefficient, if you will. And we decide that it's an odd degree polynomial. Now, with this as a background bit of information, my job is to use the factors that come from these two roots. These two roots are actually three. This six is an x equals six, which came from an x minus six factor. So that's one of my factors. Because it passes through right here, this is a multiplicity of one, which means we have a degree that's one on that factor. It only shows up once is what I mean. And then over here at the, the negative two, it's bouncing off. Anytime a root, the graph bounces off that root, it means that this x equals negative two has a multiplicity that's even. Now it's probably by two. In other words, the multiplicity is two. It just as a nice regular bounce off. If it was by four, it would really have a wide graph and kind of really bounce off kind of in a, in a wide angle. But since it's down and back, back there, this is most likely a multiplicity of two. And so what we're going to do is say that the factor x plus two has a degree of two. If the multiplicity of the root, if it's a bounce off, you just have a degree of two on your factor. So what we want to do is say that our function is some a value that I don't know yet times x minus six times x plus two squared. I don't know what the a value is. I just know that it's supposed to be negative, but I do know the rest of the polynomial should be the product of those two factors. Now, I don't have to multiply this out. I can leave it in factored form. I just have to figure out what the a value is. To do that, you need any coordinate along the way, any grid line dot. Well, we have one very bold and highlighted there for us, the y-intercept. The y-intercept is 0, 20. And that's excellent because it's the easiest thing to plug in is the 0. And so what that means for me is I'm going to do f of 0 with the knowledge that the output is 20. Set that equal to my function that's in factored form, a times, uh, I'm going to plug in zeros. So this is going to be 0 minus 6 times 0 plus 2 squared. And now I have an equation that I can work to solve for a. So 20 is equal to a times negative 6 times 2 squared. So then working out for a, 2 squared is 4, 4 times negative 6, I get negative 24a equals 20. And then to finish, to find a, I just divide by negative 24 and reduce. So a is going to be divide top and bottom by 4, negative 5 sixths. So that's A, not my overall answer, just the answer for A. So this is A. And so I replace A up top. As soon as I replace A up top, I have my answer for this polynomial, which is F of X equals negative 5 sixths times X minus 6 times X plus 2 squared. That is my factored form version of this polynomial. If I was to graph that, I would produce exactly this function.